them by your mighty power in Jesus name uh, near I pray be healed in Jesus name prostate cancer you are healed now in Jesus name cancer in the breast cancer in the lungs cancer in the liver cancer anywhere be healed in Jesus name that is your blood dry up right now Lord I pray for everyone right left center outside there everywhere I pray now receive your healing receive your deliverance receive your miracle in Jesus name here at the Alpha location in Yola everyone receive your miracle online everyone receive your miracle radio television audience anywhere everywhere receive your miracle Lord manifest your power everywhere right now and let there be let there be let there be the fulfillment of the expectation of everyone in Jesus name I pray amen the miracle is there check up yourself you see the miracle resident there in your body the miracle is there the miracle is there check yourself now and this time when you receive your miracle don't come out quietly be shouting come out with praising God come out with clapping your hands all those near them please check them now the miracle has been released the miracle has been released miracle has been released ushers stay near them counselors stay near them and our leaders come out and interview them right now by my left hand side wherever the miracle are taking place now I want to hear shout of joy over there I want to hear praise the Lord over there what you were not able to do before begin to do it now check up now you have not been able to walk rise up and walk now interpreters interpret what I'm saying to the people listening in the language at the back there tell them what you have not been able to do do it now and those who are brought those who are deaf and dumb speak to them right now you have brought those who cannot walk touch them now and tell them rise up and walk and as they begin to walk shout and let us praise God together with you it is it is done right there at the back it's done check your body right now and as it happens begin to come out immediately come out to the left hand side so that you can be interviewed to give your testimony tonight shout it there from the back at the middle right there in the language session miracle has taken place it's happening in your midst there right now check that swelling is gone check that swelling is gone check that swelling is gone check that deafness is gone check that blindness it is gone as it's happening come out by my left hand side as it's happening come out for your testimony come out for your testimony tonight is your night tonight is your night tonight is your night you will never go back the same rise up and come and give your testimony you are coming out I say don't come quietly come with praising the Lord come with praising and shouting come with praising and shouting the Lord has touched you already anywhere you are come out now come out and give your testimony those who are helping them bring them out now
Let's have some testimonies now. Let's have some testimonies. The first person can be coming out. When they are coming out, be checking yourself. We have a lot of people keen up for testimonies already. We don't want to waste time tonight because we have a lot of them. The first person should start coming up now. And while we are doing that, keep on checking yourself. Keep on checking yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. And while you see your miracle, shout it and come out and give your testimony. First person, first person, start coming. First person, come out. Sing, let's clap our hands and sing. Satan is falling. We have seen the downfall of Satan tonight. As you are singing, your miracles are taking place. Fort Testifier, Fort Testifier, please. Praise the Lord. What? Praise the Lord. I am Dr. Paul Dogaramanga. Here with me this evening is our sister who has a testimony to share to God's glory. Let's listen to her. She shares her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am by name Comfort Stanley. I'm here to testify of the goodness of the Lord in my life. I was diagnosed of asthma in the year 2000, exactly 22 years. Um, I've, I've suffered this illness, like I've suffered discomfort, I have had sleepless nights. But what happened yesterday was when I came in here, I was sitting at the back. So I made sure I sat where I could see our Father in the Lord because I told myself that after seeing him, I would never remain the same. I do go about with asthma drugs, I do, it's always there in my bag. And I must take it every night before I go to sleep or else it's, it might be a death sentence for me. But that yesterday, while, he was, while our Father and the Lord was still preaching, I held my chest, I started praying, I was in bitter tears. I told God it would be a slap on my face that after attending GCK for six days, and I still go back and still take the drugs. So what I did was I lifted the drugs up and I told God I've given it to him. I dropped it on the floor. I, I stepped on it and I told God I'm leaving it here. I left it here and went back home. But the voice told me, now they're leaving this drug here. What if you have an attack in the night? I told the devil, shut up. So when I went back home, I didn't take any drug. It's all, in fact, in a very long time, I've, in here, I've not been with my face mask this morning. I'm not wearing a cardigan. I'm breathing freely. My, oh God, my airways are so free. I'm, I'm, I, I cannot explain it. Put Praise your hands the together Lord. for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. 23 years of chronic asthma healed yesterday. I've tried and all the symptoms have gone. Praise the Lord. Everybody say gone. Asthma gone. Your own is gone tonight. Those of you coming out, I'm seeing you coming out. Don't come out quietly. Let us know that God has done it for you. Please, let's uh, praise God while the next person will be coming out. Okay, next testimony, please. Somebody is standing there already. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm by name Tabitha Nicholas. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life. Since 2018, I've been having pain and movement of something in the left hand of my tummy. But the, by the prayer of the man of God on Sunday, I have my healing. I cannot feel the pains again since on Thursday, on Sunday up till now. And I believe it's gone forever. Amen. 
Gone forever. Put your hands together for the Lord. Gone forever. Gone forever. Online, be getting ready. After this, we go online. Let's have another live testimony here. Please keep coming. As God is touching you, keep coming while others are sharing their testimonies. Muya bi ubangiji ni she mesuna Regina Jackson Gombi region yarene kuma yarena kuma mbula yen washkin suna yeso 2000 dai dai nayi shiki so wannan ciki wata takwas ne bayan watan takwas yaro ya zo mini da damuwa har ya mutu a shiki bayan da aka binne wannan yaro sai ma haifa ya kifita my father kwana bill pastor james eh, dr james yena farmer so anan ubangiji ya temeke mu my father ya zoya fita baya fita my father say wurin zuwa kafa ya zama da damuwa yana tashi tashi mini so na dena sha magani na shi gaba da adua kafin mu she zamu zo taro kuma a wannan kwana ke sai kafan har yanzu ya tashi mini yana so ya hana ni zuwa taro shi ubangiji ka temeke ni muryan baba kada idan naji na warke bele ganin baba da ido da ido shine na zo taro ranan laji baba yana addu'a ya she mana mu sa hannu ida yake damun ka da shike akwai mura na sa hannu na sa hannu anan haka ubangiji ya taimake ni ubangiji yeso kristi ya raba ni da shi yanzu lafiya law zai ya gudu je koi na hallelujah praise the lord her name is regina jackson she took in 22 years ago some 22 years ago, she was pregnant, and the pregnancy was nine, eight months, and the child died in her womb. And uh, when the child was brought out, dead, she had, the placenta could not come out for two days, but the Lord intervened, and it came out. Since then, she has been having a, an excruciating side pain. But during this crusade, she decided that if she stepped in here, and she's see the man of God who hear his voice, God will give her healing. This sharp pain yesterday, as the man of God prayed, the Lord healed her, and she is now free to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Put your hands Lord. together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. As others are testifying, your miracles are taking place. You come out by my left-hand side, and let our leaders see you so that you can give your testimony. Hold it, hold it. We have a long way to go. Thank you. Let's have two testimonies online because we have want to pick many testimonies tonight. Please, as God is touching you, check your body. As God is touching you, come and get your testimony for our brethren here so that you can be permitted to testify. Keep on checking. The Lord has dropped his mercy upon your life already and you have to testify online now it's indeed a big grand finale tonight 
and we are celebrating the power of God that never fails as we bring you these testimonies online. And this is coming from YouTube from Chinonso Uzuamaka who wrote, The pain in my ankle vanished after the prayer of the father of our father in the Lord while he was ministering. He mentioned the pain, and after the prayer, I discovered that the pain is gone. Gone. And, and gone, gone, gone it is. The power of God is everywhere on the social media. Let's quickly take you straight to Angola, where we have this testimony. Uh, a man in Angola uh, testified that he had a dream. And in that dream, he saw that his baby, his last child, died. And he saw his wife weeping. He carried that dream to the global crusade. And he went with his family and offered prayers to God Almighty there in Angola. And not long after the program, they went back home. This boy swallowed a very dangerous object, which you can also see on your screen there. And then they called upon God. The God of GCK showed up for the family according to his writing. The child miraculously passed out that object and was saved from untimely death. We will end with this testimony now as we broadcast live from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Port Harcourt, South South Nigeria, broadcasting live. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Beatrice Study in Mabepago. I'm from River State, Nigeria. I want to glorify God for his faithfulness in my life and my family. I got married in 2001. Ever since I got married, I was, I was told that I had fibroid. And through, uh, during that um, um, 2001, I took in. They, they, I was told when I got to the hospital that the fibroid occupied my whole home and that uh, the baby could not even have a space to stay. So the baby was lying right on my chest. But God saw me through, though it was true, I delivered through CS. After that, I kept going to hospital. They would tell me that the pregnancy, the, 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 the fibroid is as big, as large as a pregnancy. As like a woman. In fact, sometimes when I go to the scan, they would tell me, they would just laugh and say, Madam, it's like you're carrying a nine-month pregnancy. You know, that was how big the fibroid was. But I kept trusting God. I got to a point, I was told that I have to operate it because it was now, it has entered a dangerous period. At the time, I agreed because, uh, because of the pain, the bleeding, the bleeding became so severe. When I went on to bleed, as the thing would pour and the doctor would tell me that because, uh, it, that it cannot stop because they can't control it. About this, uh, this year, around May, June, I went to the hospital. I was told that my blood percentage was about 15% because of the bleeding. But what have I built it up by the grace of God? It got to 25. And the doctor told me I had to come and remove it. But during that minor crusade, during that minor crusade, I was praying. You know, we trust God, myself and my family. We kept trusting God, believing God. While I was praying, uh, Pastor Kumuye was praying. When he asked us to stand up, we, we should lay our hands. I laid my hands on my womb and we were praying. Something coiled, as if there was a wide wind that blew. And then something started coiling out of my womb, coiled, coiled, and came out from my right side, from my left side, and came out through, uh, from my parlor. We were watching my parlor, and came out to the kitchen, through my kitchen, and left. So I didn't know it was a thing that coiled out of my womb that passed through my kitchen and left. So I was now wondering who went out while we were praying. After the prayer, I opened my eyes. I saw my, I saw my husband. I saw my sister that was in the house. I noticed that. They didn't go out. I asked them if they went out. They said no. So I now knew it was that thing that coiled out of my womb that actually left my um, body. 